Hey everyone, it's Peggy Davis 3. I am a tester here on Test.io just like you and I am going to show you how to record your screen for a bug report using a program called Snagit. Now you can get Snagit on techsmith.com and you can see you can get a Windows download or a Macintosh uh, download. You can try the, the free version for 15 days and then after that you're gonna have to buy it or try a different program it's uh, $49.95 after 15 days it used to be 30 that's fun but uh, anyway so snag it uh, download it install it either it's in your dock or it's in your applications folder anyway you bring it up and you change your preferences uh, thusly this is what I have is my preferences. You might want to change yours uh, depending on your system. I like to have uh, Snagit always running in the background. That way my hotkeys are my uh, Macintosh or Windows hotkeys. Is the same hotkeys if I want to take a screen capture. Um, and the second thing that I uh, really like is a capture window because that puts a uh, little black ass in here and it's easier to call up the program. I don't know what it does. I think you might have to pin it to your dock for Windows. So outputs, it doesn't really matter because you're going to record to MP4. So you're not going to put it on YouTube or Dropbox or Camtasia. Keyboard, uh, I just have the default settings set here, which uh, for me is uh, helpful because I'm not using any of those shortcuts, but you could advanced I have these marked for my system which is a MacBook Pro and my preferences I am setting my autosave location to document snagit autosave capture I'm setting my default picture format as a PNG you could do PNG or JPEG for test IO but I prefer PNG because they are smaller and that is about it there you go for options so close that all right so I have this little black S or on Windows you have it on your menu bar now and you want to record now you may or may not want the sound you probably don't 99.9% .9 of the times you don't unless you're doing a usability test where you would want to record your commentary or unless the uh, the bug that you're trying to show had a sound involved in some way then you would want to record your system audio usually these are off so um, anyway you hit the uh, big red capture button and you see you have an option to do full screen well if you don't want your bug rejected you want the date so uh, just do full screen no reason not to Date is required in all bug submissions, so uh, better have that in there. So, and uh, Windows, I think it's down here in this area somewhere. So, anyway, you hit red circle there, three, two, one, it counts down, and now you're going to show your issue, whatever it is. Pretty awesome. High value issue, bug. At the end of it, after you've shown what your issue is, you press stop recording. And you want to do your issue from beginning to end without pausing. And then this window pops up, which is the Snagit editor. Now, if you started recreating your issue too late or whatever, you can cut off the front. If you left it running a little bit too long, you can cut off the tail. And then after that is done, you can come down here and you go to Reveal and Finder and you see that it's pretty small. It's 2.5 megabytes. Now you want to be under 25 megabytes and under one minute. I mean, you can see here in the Snagit editor that I, this video here is 15 seconds, but say it wasn't and you could just put this onto your bug report because it's well within the uh, limits but if it was not you go to open it with handbrake 
or uh, MPEG Stream Clip. Both of those are free programs you can get on the internet. There's other programs also that you can use. These are the ones I use. Handbrake, very easy. Come up here and uh, you make an MP4, yes. I do uh, fast 1080p 30 frames per second. And then I make sure that the audio track is none because nobody wants to hear your dog barking or the TV in the background or, you know, various things that you might hear. Browse the where it goes. I always put mine on the desktop because then it's easy to find. And then I press start. And you see it's pretty quick, it, depending on your system. And then I'm going to go to the desktop here. And I'm going to see a 2.5 megabyte file is now a 430 kilobyte file. And we'll just look at it real quickly and see uh, what it looks like. Pretty good. Pretty good. Amazing. Looks amazing. So I should definitely put that on my bug report. Now, I like to save these files until the... Uh, bug gets approved and then I toss them because I don't want my hard drive getting clogged up with old bug reports but I do wait just in case just in case oh there's one more thing which is how do you record a uh, screenshot <clears throat> which is really simple with the Mac uh, the hotkeys are command shift I have two screens here so it's command shift 4 and I want to select the whole screen and the the Snagit editor pops up and you can see you can annotate your screenshot to show the issues. There's arrows, there's boxes, you can change the colors of the boxes, you can change that even. So there's a lot of things that you can do. You can blur things out with a still. And, uh, you know, if there was some, like, some personal information, your uh, credit card number or address or something like that you didn't want in there. So you could do that, and then you just save it as whatever. And uh, it just goes to the desktop. I spelled that wrong. I knew that. And uh, then you can now uh, put this onto your bug report. Whatever spelled wrong you can fix that and that is that is it that is how you use snag it it's super simple and super easy and free for uh 15 days and then you know your choice what you're gonna do after that